Hello everybody, today we are going to do some encapsulated glitter in this gel and I am just removing her old gel polish on top of her gel and sorry about the lighting, it will soon go away uh, <laughs> so I'm just filing off her red polish and this is my problem lifting girl so she can only go two weeks without with me or two weeks and then I have to do an infill or inlay overlay because of her you can see how much she has lifted on the sides here so I'm almost sitting in with sitting left or oh yeah <laughs> let's talk about this lifting and you have to be really careful when you're working with the e-file and you know you need to know what you are doing so you do not touch her um, nail plate at all with the drill so I'm keeping my drill behind the lifting so when it comes down to the nail plate it just flicks up off or yeah I can just scrape it off like I do here because it's all loose nothing is uh, stick to the nail plate stuck to the nail plate so I'm just going over it and smoothing the nail out a little bit and I'm doing that to all of her nails there's some lifting in the edge here and sorry about me being a little bit all over the place here here I am filing and I'm yeah I'm shaping her nails and I am buffing up her nails and um, yeah I'm doing all of that a little bit here and a little bit there so I'm sorry about that Jump, jumping all over and uh, I am pushing back some cuticles and I am also scraping away some gel that are loose here and there and filing off some rough edges so I'm smoothing that out so yeah doing a little bit of everything as I said <laughs> Scraping away the, the gel that has that still is on the nail plate that I don't want there and shaping and buffing. And then I am using my electric drill bit, cuticle bit. Uh, that helps me a lot with the lifting problem her nails was actually stuck in the back but they lift from the sides but not the back from the sides this time so they, they were stuck they, they were still on her nails but uh, there was a lot of lifting the two of her nails I actually will see that I have to build almost from the beginning again so this helps a lot and it's not hurtful to the nail at all so I'm wiping off the dust I wiped off the dust and I'm putting on a, a cleanser and dehydrator and primer and this is the first base coat of the um, Oh, the base gel that oh, I always forget what is what that gel is this that I use for this girl oh, sorry I'm writing it down on the screen <laughs> as you can see I have um, I do this uh, reinforcing her tips with a sculpting gel because uh, there was almost no gel left on the nails and here sorry my um, my battery died so I can only show you that I took one coat of a gel on 
all of the nails uh, and fiberglass gel that's what I'm using on this girl because it's a stronger gel that adhere better to the nail and I made her a mix because she wanted pink just baby pink with some silver in it so I cured it for 10 seconds and I am uh, then holding her nails over this mixing bowl and just drizzling the drizzling the glitter over the top into the tacky layer and curing it fully curing that for three minutes so I'm kind of pushing it down into the tacky layer I'm not too worried about wiping things off so I can do that afterwards so now I'm taking the builder gel again and really cover in this encapsulate this um, glitter so you just brush off the glitter excess glitter around her nails when you're done so just keep baking in that glitter since I didn't have a lot of gel on her nails I had uh, I could have put a, uh, oh sorry about my voice today and not finding the words so sorry I have enough space to put a layer on or two because she has such flat nails also I have to put on a, a, at least once or two two, um, two layers of gel this is my second layer, I think. And I just went over a couple of nails a third time. So I know that I have enough to file, file around her edges and her tips. Or else they would have been really thick tips. <laughs> and her thumb is also really wide and flat so this really thin gel is is finding its way on its sides as you can see so I'm trying to wipe it off and here I'm using my electric drill bit to yeah to do the worst to do the most work uh, with the sides and the tip and also filing then with my hand file afterwards doing the sides and the tip and the back and working my way around the nail you can see that on the other nail better and also buff it like I do now so I get rid of the stripes in the nails so I'm working my way around the nail and the tip you don't want a fat tip <laughs> that's not pleasant so with my hand file I'm starting on the sides moving it inwards and filing the back and trying to get it down to the to her natural nail so it's kind of a soft oval yeah it's it's I don't know how to say that so the lapping from her natural nail to her gel do not get that uh, get that high and here I'm just putting off on her last step and that is the top coat so you get the shine back and this camera and um, the picture that I took at the 
the end will not show how beautiful these nails actually are they are really shiny and beautiful you cannot see the pink uh, enough and you cannot see how shiny and sparkly they were really beautiful so I'm putting down oil after I have wiped off of her tacky layer so I hope you enjoyed this really hurry and fast video I am so sorry about my my fumbling but uh, thank you all for watching everybody and I hope you like it and comment and subscribe if you like and I will see you soon everybody bye bye